Okay, in this part you will learn how to write EPCs and other me other memories, for example, reserve memories, TI, uh, and uh, yes, user memories. Okay, now, and this part is for writing EPCs, fast writing EPCs, and uh, then, and this is is writing the hex, and you can write. 96-bit um, hex or 128-hex so you can just input the hex here yes and uh, click fast write APCs then APC will write into the text and uh, with the default length for example this length is, has 96-bit so you can write for example I just click one here and click first EPCs they are reading it you can see that I just writing a length a 96 bit to EPCs of course you can just write just a 4 bit like this one 4 bit length EPCs ok reading stop ok another tag interference ok see that Three, four, four, one. Okay, it also has the increment and R2 functions, and this two box can be checked. And increment is just an add one, just R2 add one if if uh, after finish the last EPC's writings. For example, I just uh, check this box and write this one. I, I just write write the tag. Okay. For example, I just write this tag. First, I reading. Okay, just to. Okay, first I reading here. Just to check. Uh, writing this one as one 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 one. Okay. So you can see that EPC has changed to this one and I'll change another one. Okay. Auto add one. And if I just reading. Okay. Stop reading. Okay, you see that I just write the four one and one 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 two and this is a second is the third one that I need the result to writing so this is increment functions and auto functions is is just save save user to save the operation of repeatedly click this button fast writing button so you can just write multiple text without click this one example see that it write two and then write another one and now write another one okay stop so you can just uh, you can you can just continue writing the text by check this auto box now we can just uh, reading you see that I just writing these two text has one 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 five one one six. So this is the fast writing EPC functions. And the second option is write write EPCs um, as ten decimals for Win twenty six. Because in access controller access control uh, uh, field normally there are ten digit ten digit numbers. So Sometimes you need to sometimes if for access control uh, sector uh, scenarios you you may use this one you can directly write the ten decimal uh, uh, card number here so this function not to I I just reserve I didn't uh, uh, introduce too much and these functions are for detail read write operations 
They not only can read EPCs, but also can read user memories, EPC, TIG, and user memories. And also have a starting address. For, and for example, it's actually going to read the TIDs. It's starting just as 0, 0. And the EPC, TID length as, um, as 4. I just read the tag here. Okay, now I'll read the text. E2003, and this is typical H3 text. Okay. It also read reserve memory, which is a password. Uh, access password and clean password results. Can you also read that? Okay, access password is writing as, as 484. A clean password is writing as this one, but be attention. This function has no use for these readers. Access passwords and autolog pass because you do this reader USB UHF reader do not support lock the access password uh, lock reserve memory and EPC memory, so you cannot rely on access password to. Uh, to access to the EPCs, to revise the EPC, it has no protection at all. So this function has not opened yet, so do not use that one. Okay, but you can write, but you can just write the access password by with this one. For example, I just want, I just want to write uh, the reserve memory as uh, for one. Uh, 8 1 and 8 2. Now I just write it here, click right. Okay. Okay, write success and just read again. See? User memory has changed. You can also write to EPC. Okay, EPC starting from 0 2 and just want to write uh, 96 bit means 3 means uh, 24 hex and this 24 hex okay I shall write this one and click right okay shall read again you see that okay so if you're reading okay please remember that this write this writing has uh, this writing uh, do not is not is not um, you not change the EPC length. So this is the different. So this function is different with this fast writing EPCs. This fast EPCs can can mask the following. For example, I just write four four EPCs. So the length is zero two is two lengths. But in uh, here, uh, here, although I just writing the four lengths of EPCs, but if I just query the text, it still show four bit because we didn't change the lens, lens mark, lens identifiers. So you can just uh, check again. For example, I just uh, write write the same at uh, here, the same EPC as here. Okay, fast write. You're querying the text. So you can see that the EP7 has changed from 0 0.2 to OC. Yes, it's 96 bit. So this function is a difference with this one because it didn't define define the tag length. Okay. For example, uh, I also can just write as this one. As this format, I just write four, four, four. Okay, here, and you see what is going on, and um, four bit, and right. Okay, so I just read again. You see, I just changed the first four. You see that change the first four because it didn't didn't change the PC length. So I guess so the so the tag 
IDs I'm reading here should be so four four okay and plus the second and the following yes it didn't change the EPC length the EPC length here so please do remember the difference of this fast fast writing and this writing date okay that's all of this part thanks for watching